Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to another UEFA Europa League qualifier playoff round review between Caterbag up against Linfield. This time it's the away leg for Linfield in Azerbaijan. And after having a very good result in their last game, getting on a very good side of a 3-2 th victory at home. Obviously those two away goals are going to hurt Linfield. But going into this game, they had every chance that they could to win it. And unfortunately, that wasn't the case. They do get knocked out in the playoff round. Calabag go through on away goals after it ended on aggregate 4 4, 2 1 in the second leg. And um, it was very difficult, obviously, a very difficult game. Calabag with heaps of experience in European football compared to Linfield. He don't have that sort of experience would have found it very difficult obviously to come up against Karabag who did knock out Dundalk Riga FC another team who Dundalk knocked out are also involved today but we're just going to go over this game the goal scorers and the way it went 4-4 on our gate it's a very hard way to go out on away goals it's not the best way especially for the fact that I'm in group stage which is a lot more money for Linfield as well but I was going to go into goal scores and main possession stats. So obviously this is a very difficult game and it got off to a very bad start for Linfield. Carabag taking the lead after just six minutes. Jamie Romero with the goal for them and a nice one-two. Brilliant little passage of play from Carabag to put the ball through, score their goal. Brilliant little finish, but... Not the right, it's obviously right score, right goal that they would have wanted. They had a couple loads of opportunities as well. Carabag, couple other chances leading up into the half hour mark. There was a bit, couple chances as well for Linfield. Uh, Britain opportunities to score. Both teams had very good opportunities to score. But unfortunately, they just it took quite a while. And leading into half time, Carabag held a 1 0 lead. If Linfield had equalised before half time, I think they would have had a much better chance of going through because it, if the way it panned out, it just didn't go in, uh, their way. Carabag went into the second half much more confident. The team, they're the team to concede. They had the game, they had to lose it. Linfield should have just probably could have gone at it a little bit more. But they did have a brilliant chance just before the hour mark. Ali Tom, or yeah, Hail Tom, uh, his head had just gone out of the post. Brilliant opportunity to bring midfield level just before the hour mark and to really have a go at this game. But unfortunately, that wouldn't be the case. <clears throat> then a couple more opportunities went for Carabag, more opportunities for Linfield. Very, very even game in the second half. But it took, and then in the 70th minute, well, just before, sorry, just before the 80th minute, 78th minute, Linfield made a couple of subs to try and just change up the game, pour, bring it to their favour. And that's almost what they did. Sure, to the end of the game, they just put everything into it, just to score, just to try and try and score. Because one goal would change everything. All of a sudden, they're in the lead, Linfield, and they're going through. But currently, as a stud, Carabag were the team going through. And the 88th minute goal, Carabag make it two goals to nil, pretty much killing off the tie unless something miracle happened in the uh, in the stoppage time. Uh, Zubar won it for Carabag. Over the top through ball, he was in so much space. Not good marking from the infield. Obviously though, they were going for it, so they hit them on the counter attack. It should have been expected, but it's just the way they went out. Rounded the keeper and put it back in the net. And then that was pretty much it up until the 93rd minute. Consolation goal scored by Shane Lavery with a volley for Linfield, making it 2-1, 4-4 in aggregate. And that's how it ends. Linfield bow out of the league on away goals, which is never a good way to go out. And it's unfortunate.
but Carabag go through to the group stages once again. I think it was Champions League group stage, no, Europa League group stage last season, so they're there again. They come against Chelsea last year, and I'm not too sure who they come up against this year. I think the draw is tomorrow. But anyway, leave a like, subscribe for my way for Europa League reviews, and um, bye.